my name is Rich Fortas, and I'm here at CME talking about my new signature Gretsch Falcon. This is one of them. There's two. There's a black one and a white one. They both have tortoise binding. They both have the same pickups, which we'll get into. The black one is a stop tail. The white one has a Bigsby B6. This is a 24.6 inch scale length. The white one is a 25.5. That longer scale really works better with the Bigsby. Filtertrons to me are very much a, an integral part of tonal history of rock and roll. I play the single cut bigger Falcons live and I've been using them for a while with Guns N' Roses. I wanted a Falcon that still had that Gretsch chime but was a double cutaway so I could solo on it and also that had a center block. So there's a chambered spruce center block in these. Because using a standard type of filtertron with a center block, you really lose a lot of the character that I love about Filtertrons. So we did a lot of experimentation and we had four different prototypes, guitar set up in rehearsals, and we we're on in ears. And we had a our front of house guy in the other room in a control room environment listening to studio monitors. And we were able to, and we had a string winder, and John Gadesi sat and wound pickups. Um, while we experimented, while we tried them out and thought, no, it still doesn't have this or it needs more of this. And he was, so he would take my comments and then interpret them in how many windings, what kind of bobbins. Uh, we tried all sorts of stuff. And what we came up with is very, very unique. And to my knowledge, hasn't been done before. <laughs> In construction and in theory, it's a hybrid between a vintage PAF and a classic Filtertron, vintage Filtertron. And I think we were really successful in what we were after. <laughs> Another thing that was really important to me was to use an audio taper pot, which Gretsch doesn't normally do, and they put an audio taper pot in so that when you go from wide open, it's more of a, you get that PAF thing. You drop it down just a touch, and you're in vintage Filtertron territory. I use single channel amps on stage, and I just work my volume and from my clean sound to my heavy sound, it's all right in the volume. And then dropping the volume down just a little bit. You get a lot more of that chime, that, that Filtertron thing. Dropping it down further. And then a lot of times in for songs when I'm using a cleaner sound and dropping the volume down, I'll switch to both pickups. Mm -hmm. 
that's really, uh, I think, what makes this guitar really unique. There's no other guitar that really has that same type of voice and that range. And I'm constantly live, I'm constantly adjusting my volume and finding different sweet spots for different songs and different riffs. So. And going to a lead, I'm gonna open it wide up. So that's, I mean, really, that's the, the thing that I'm most proud of with this guitar. Thank you.